Are we live? Is this, is this working? I felt like it stopped for a second, so I switched Wi-Fi just to make sure. Um, let me know that you are on and you can see me for anybody that was on and then came back. Hi again. Are we good? Can we just get a couple thumbs up here? I just wanna make sure that we are all good to go here because it froze on the last one. So I just wanna make sure we are good. Okay, I got some hearts, so I'm assuming we're good to go, right? Okay. <laughs> um, hi, everybody. I just wanted to make sure before we even began, it was like the Wi-Fi has got to be like nice and solid here. Um, so welcome to another Friday 15. Um, like I said, we're going to be doing this movement that we can kind of take outside and we can kind of do anywhere. And ideally, I would love to pull these IG Lives outside. Also, I did not get the Wi-Fi connected properly out there today, but hopefully we can take some of these outside and, um, you know, move together in some sunlight and have a little bit of a different scenery, you know, but Wi-Fi is always an issue when it comes to <laughs> lives. So I want to make sure that that is like solid first and foremost. Um, so welcome to everybody that's maybe new or has been joining on for a long time. It's so great to see everybody. And I see so many familiar um, names here, which is really exciting. So I'm so happy to move with you again. I'm so thankful that you are here. Um, I love that you're on your patio. I'm jealous. <laughs> and does anybody have any quick questions to start off? It looks like for the most part, we're still having some people join. So I want to make sure that um, we give everybody a chance because I know I switched over to another live. Um, yeah, today is going to be a standing leg and core series. So we're going to be, you know, just flowing through some really nice movements and just opening up the body and really kind of treating this whether like you do not have shoes on, whether you have shoes on, wherever you are, really just like movement that you can just kind of like drop the hat and, um, or move at the drop of a hat. <laughs> okay. Um, hi to everybody that's joining in now. So, okay. It looks like we're all good. Let me check one more thing. I just want to make sure that we are all settled and good. I'm going to turn off comments here. We can chat a little bit afterwards. Um, okay. All right. Looks like we are good to go. So we're starting just a few minutes late, but we still will get in this full 15 minutes. So just letting you know that we'll be finishing about a few minutes after the 15. Okay. So this is going to be a 15 minute standing lower body and core series movement you can take anywhere with you and we're going to start with your feet about hip distance apart. We're going to find yourself just kind of dropping your shoulders down, lifting up through the core and we're going to bend the knees very soft, softly but lifting up through the abdominals. We're just going to start to stretch your hands forward and back. Just want you to treat this movement like you're really opening up the chest, starting to connect into the body, starting to find some heat in the body as well. Just reaching it out, breathing through. And let's just do a few more here. And then one more. And then we're gonna stretch the hands up and then circle around, reaching it up, circling it around. I'm just softening my knees very slightly. This would be all the way up straight. You can also take it there as long as you don't hyperextend in your joints. I'm just giving it a little soft bend. Let's do three more. And two more here. And then let's do one more. And then we're going to take your hands into a prayer position and we're just going to bend very slightly. We're going to lift up one leg and we're going to draw the knee and we're going to stretch it out to the side. So what we're going to be doing is find your balance first. We're going to reach it out to the side. So we're just drawing it out, breathing through here. You can go on a very slight forward hinge. You can also make your leg just moving very small here. We're stretching it out. We're finding this nice open hip as well using your hands here to stabilize you. And let's do a few more here. And then let's do one more. We're gonna drop it down, make your way over to the other side. You can reach your leg out first, bend the knee and stretch it out. So we're just feeling this nice movement here, this nice hip opener, starting to find how your blood is starting to flow through your body. Trying to find some really nice balance on that bottom foot. Connecting core, connecting leg, really working on stability here. So the best thing is to find a focal point. Keep your eye on that focal point. Let's do two more. And then one more. We're going to drop here. We're going to go to the back. And I'm going to lift myself up a little bit higher here. So we're going to stretch it out. And I'm going to draw the heel in. So it's reaching it back. Drawing the heel and stretching it out. 
breathing through this position again, using your arms here to connect into your pecs, stretching it out. I'm at a very slight forward hinge, but a straight leg here, not hyperextended, okay? So straight leg, soft joint, finding length out through the leg. It doesn't have to lift up too high up off the floor. Let's do three more. And two more. And then let's do one more here. Let's switch over to the opposite leg. So find your balance first. We can stretch it out here. We're gonna bend, stretch it out, draw it in. Breathing through. So just really feeling the movement. The great thing about a lot of the standing work is you can kind of just like feel how connected the entire body is and just moving really fluidly and comfortably just to make your body feel good, make your head feel right, and just kind of reset the entire kind of connection here. And let's do three more. And two more. And then one more. We're gonna now switch over to the opposite side. So we're gonna bend, we're gonna stretch your leg forward, draw it in. So now I'm trying to stack up even taller up out of my pelvic floor. So finding this nice lift up out of the core, Drawing the foot forward. Find almost like you're reaching, you're like up through the top of your head and finding this nice lift all the way up through your core as you stretch that leg out. It doesn't have to lift that high. And let's do three more. Two more here. And then let's do one more. Find your balance on the opposite side. Lift up from the core, we're gonna bend, stretch it out. So it's like we're kind of like drawing it in reaching it out here. Still making sure that you're breathing and trying not to hold your breath. And let's do three and two. And then one, dropping it down here. Let's stretch your hands forward, reach it out. Now I'm at a very slight forward hinge, opening up the arms, continuing this motion here, breathing through. So we're gonna start again, in a little bit of a different way. Two more, and then one more. And then we're gonna bend the elbows in, we're gonna lift it up, do a slight bend lift. Feel how your core is driving this motion. Let's do three more, and two more. Really feeling the entire motion here. So just letting kind of your body just move how it wants to here. And then we're gonna hold your position here. So we're at a very slight bend. We're gonna hover your leg up and we're gonna stretch it out to the side here. So what I want you to do here is we're just gonna do little dips and then lift. So we're dipping it down. You can either slide your leg out or you can keep it where it is and sit back like almost like you're sitting back in a chair. So we're trying to connect into the glutes, connect into the core here. It's very tiny. Breathing through. And let's do three more. And two more here. And then one more. We're gonna lift it up. I want you to stretch your hands up, circle it around. So we're gonna reach, circle it around. Feel how your core is connecting to your arms. Really nicely moving your hands, finding resistance through space. Let's do three. And two. And then one. And then we're gonna stretch it down through here. So I want you to find your balance. We're gonna lift. Push your hands down, drop it down. Let's do a lift. And then down. Lifting up through the core. Really pushing your hands back behind you. Finding your stability here. Now is when you're gonna find that focal point. Try to keep your eye on it. And down. Let's do three more. And two more here. And then one more. Find yourself back to center here. Stretch your hands out. Feel how you're still almost trying to swim through space here, creating some resistance. Feeling how your inner thighs are connected as well. Slight bend at the knees. One more, stretching it up. And tiny bend lift. So making this very active, very fluid here. Let's do three and two and one. 
and then taking yourself down here. So we're going to stretch through that opposite leg, lifting up in the core, very slight forward hinge. We're going to dip it down and lift, dip it down and lift. So we're putting weight into this back heel. We're trying to almost feel like your tailbone is pulling back behind you, feeling length out of the body in two different directions here. You can either keep your foot down and lift. You can try both. Feel how they differ when your leg starts to glide and then keep it stable. Let's do three more and two more here. And then one more and we're gonna lift up here and hold, stretch the hands up, circle it around. Feel how your arms are connected to your obliques as they lift it up, drawing your hands up, lifting up through the core, feeling length out of your leg. And keep going through here. Let's do three, and two, and one. And then we're gonna drop it down, and now we're gonna lift, we're gonna find balance here and then down. Let's lift. Feel how your hands are pushing your shoulders down as they go behind your body. So it's very active push. Feel the core lift. Breathing through. Balance work when you are barefoot or with socks is probably one of the hardest things. So keep your focus here. Try to plant your foot. If you fall out of it, that's okay. Just get right back into it. And let's keep going here. Let's do three. And two. And then one more. Come back to center here. We're gonna push your hands back. We're gonna round through the body here. We're gonna push your hands back as we open up the chest, round through the body. We're pushing it back. So just a slight stretch of the legs. We're not taking them all the way up straight. Stretching it back and round it forward. Let's do three more. Really feeling this motion here, opening up your spine, mobilizing the spine. And then one more. And let's fold forward. Let's slowly start to roll all the way up. Take our hair out of our face. And then we're gonna take it over to the opposite side. So we're gonna plant this foot down. I want you to lift up in the core. Hands back in this position. We're gonna stretch your leg out. You can give yourself a slight external rotation of this leg if you need this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna circle the leg back and forward. So it's gonna go tap and tap. Find your focal point again. Feel your lift up out of the core. You can also take your hands on your hips here, or you can take your hands behind your lower back. I kind of like this position because I feel like my elbows Connect my pecs, connect the lats here. Almost turn off the traps. So shoulders here. And let's keep going. So think inner thigh draws this leg around, outer thigh swoops it around. Let's do three more. And two more here. And then one more. And then let's drop this foot down. See how it slightly externally rotates. Stretch out through the opposite leg. Lift up in the core. We're going back to front. Find your balance here. Find your lift. Try to really connect through this inner thigh. And let's take it back. Still breathing through. Hopefully feeling some really nice inner warmth inside of your body. Some nice connection in the full body here. Let's do three. And two more. And then last one. And then taking your feet out wide through here, we're gonna stretch your arms out, squeezing them in as you bend, stretch it out, squeezing it in, stretching it out, so straight leg. So don't take your feet out too wide if you're feeling any sort of knee pain. Make sure you're really fighting your wide stance that's appropriate for your hips. Just make sure that you're lifting up in the core. Two more. And then one more. And then we're just gonna rock side to side. Put your weight into one heel to the next. Feel your hips switch, shifting back. Inner thigh stretch here as well. Breathing through, dropping the shoulders. And let's keep going. Finding this nice lift and shift. 
We're shifting your whole weight back onto your hip. And then let's do one more here. We're gonna push it off and then lift. Take it down and lift. Make sure that you're not pushing yourself too far so that you take momentum here. I want core, lifts you up, push it back, drop it down. Really breathing through this motion here. Let's do three more and two more and one more. We're gonna hold here as best as you can. We're gonna go stretch and then in, stretch, in, stretch. We're gonna just tap the toe, lift up in the chest. Let's do three and two and then one. Circle your arms around, take your hands in front of you here. We're gonna stretch your leg back behind you. I want you to flex the foot, hover it up. We're gonna bend, push it out. Feel the core drawing the knee in, push out with the heel. Still breathing through, still trying to find that balance. Let's do three, and two, and one. Take it out to the side here, start to rock side to side. We're gonna go over to the other side. We're almost finished here. Dropping the shoulders, giving your hips this nice release, this nice stretch through your piriformis back in your glutes as we go side to side. We're ready for the other side. We're gonna drop it down through here and we're gonna lift. Drop it down and let's lift. So trying to also articulate through the foot as we drop it down, articulating through the toe, through the ankle, through the heel, and then down. Let's lift and lift it up. As you push your hands down, we're growing taller up out of the core, finding more lift up out of the top of your head. Let's do three and two and then one. That's where your hold. Hold here. Bend the elbows. Let's dip it down, lift and bend. What I want you to try to do is focus more on the length of your spine here. So if your knee is pulling in too high and you're feeling like you're tucking in the pelvis, take your knee down a little bit. It can go right here. Okay, it's mostly about finding some decompression in the spine. Let's do three and two and then one. We're gonna tap it down, take your hands in front of you here, stretch your leg out behind you. We're gonna lift, flex, Bend it in halfway, push it out, stretch it out. Find length out of the head, pushing out with the heel. Feel how there's still energy out through the top of your head, even though you're taking your heel out behind you. Breathe. Let's do three and two and then one. Step it out into your wide stance here, bend the knees, lift your hands up, circle it around. Bend, lift circle it around. Really feel how open your chest can be here. Let's do three more. Two more. And then we have one more. And then we're going to stretch your hands out. I want you to do a nice twist down through here. We're going to draw your hand up. And then we're going to twist. We're drawing this hand. Open it up. Drop it down. Stretching it up so you can feel kind of this nice twist and this nice reach. Let's do one more each side. Stretching it up. And last one. Stretching it up. Let's take a nice inhale, lift all the way up. Slowly start to roll down. Soften the knees. Grab onto your elbows, nod your head, shake your head. You can start to just do a little rock side to side here. Let your weight pull down to the floor. Find yourself back through the center. Release your arms and then we're just gonna slowly start to roll up one vertebrae at a time. Head is the very last piece. And you're all done. 15 minute standing lower body and core. Great job. Okay, um, I'm feeling 
really nice. <laughs> I do feel like after this, I'm gonna turn comments on also. Um, when you're standing for a long time, I've actually spent so much time standing, so I feel it in my legs a little bit today. Um, you'll really want to take that moment to take your legs up on a wall. If you're at the park, you can take your legs up on a tree, you know, just allowing some of that circulation to kind of pull out of your legs and just kind of release them. So we did so much work release all of that, allow the blood flow to come out of your legs. You can probably see that my legs are a little bit red today from being on my legs so much. So that will be so beneficial for you, especially when we do these standing series to release some of that. Um, even just taking a moment to just kind of connect yourself back into a slower breath. So when we do the standing work, I'm sure you can feel and, and, and find that, you know, cardio element of it naturally when we stand up and when you start to intensify the movements. You start to feel how much of your blood flow starts to um, move around. So take yourself legs up on a wall. If you have a ball, you can do some of your leg inversion stuff too, which would be amazing. Um, if anybody has any questions, let me know. I'm gonna quickly run through here and see. Um, Marla, I see that you want a longer version of this. You got it. <laughs> it's coming. Um, <laughs> but um, I love you all so much and happy Friday. And um, I will see you again next, next Friday. And so all of these series in the whole month of May, we're going to now be kind of having these themed month, months, which I'm really excited about to, um, you know, take this anywhere, move anywhere, just really feeling your body. And I hope if you, um, oh yes, foam roll too. Yes, yes. Thank you, Mara. Um, if you find yourself doing this one again, um, allow yourself to really feel the movement. Sometimes in a lot of these positions, we're like so focused on kind of that like balance of it and that intensity of stability and finding that. And then maybe next time start to just like feel how you're just kind of flowing through it in a little bit of a um, different way, which is nice. It's nice to kind of release your brain in a bunch of different ways. Um, what is the theme this month? This month is movement taking outside that you can do anywhere with no prop. Um, I'm sure there's like one word to describe that, but it's just kind of like movement that you can be doing at any time, no matter where you are, if you have no prop and you don't have to necessarily do a roll down in the grass. <laughs> you know, it's like movement that you can do standing up or even sitting down or even on your hands and, hands and knees and stuff like that. So um, you're not gonna be rolling down on a rock. <laughs> All right, um, okay, love you all, love you all. Um, I'll see you again next week, and then let me know if you have any questions, but thank you again for joining me, and I hope you're feeling really good and nice and kind of warm inside your body. So I will see you next week, bye.